Hello everybody and welcome back to another episode of Alpha Access EverQuest Next Landmark. Today's episode I'm going to teach you guys how to make a cone shaped roof. So let's get started. Okay, here's the finished product of the conal roof I was talking about. I went with a thatched roof look. And of course you can pick any material you'd like. But this is what we're aiming for, this is our end goal. So let's quickly take a look at step one. Okay, the first step I did was make a 38 by 38 circle here. If you checked out my last episode, I show you how to make these circles. It's pretty easy once you get the hang of it. And of course, there's a website I use that really helps me find the design and the right scale and the right size. So once I did that, I made these crosshairs in the middle to find the exact center point of this circle. And once I made the exact center point, I went ahead and made this pillar here because we're going to use this as a guide for the line tool. I went ahead and made this nine voxels high. You don't have to make it this high. Any height that feels good to you, feel free to use it. The next step is going over to your line tool and start laying down the groundwork. So I'm going to scale up just one size up from the smallest voxel I can with the line tool. And I'm going to snap to this edge here, the very edge of my tower and the edge of my crosshairs here. I'm going to click once and then I'm going to click and drag all the way up to my center pillar here. And I'm going to try to make that flush with the top. And then I'll click again. Once this is down, you can see how nice and smooth that is. Once I've got that down, I'll come over here to my selection tool. And what I want to do is delete this extra overhang here. I just found it's a little bit cleaner when you finally smooth everything out and when you're trying to construct your, your base frame here. So I'm going to go ahead, I'm going to delete that. And I'm going to do the same thing on this corner here. You're basically trying to find the quarters here and you're just going to do this one quarter area here of the circle and then we're going to copy and paste later. So we'll go ahead with a line tool, scale it up to be the next size up, snap to the edge, click, snap to the next edge, and click again. And I'm going to do the same thing with deleting the excess overhang here for this pillar. And there we go. Go to delete. And you can see how it gets a little bit jagged, but don't worry about that. We're going to be smoothing this later. So the next thing I did was I came back in with my line tool, scaled it up to the exact same size we had before. And basically I'm just finding the halfway point on my circle here. And this looks, this looks pretty good. Click once. And if you can see it there, I'm going to try to match this up with that corner of my center pillar. There we go. So it's about 45 degree angle here from this corner here to the middle. So that looks pretty good. I'm basically going to do it again. I'm going to have it right here in the middle, which I think looks best. And that looks pretty close. And I'm going to click and drag, do the same thing. And then the same idea over here on this side. Click and drag, and there we go. And once you've got that, as a quick note, what you're going to want to do, you can do this now or you can do this later. As you see here at the base of my tower, the edges get a little funky. So you can fix that by going into your selection tool, selecting that, that little bit of area there of stone, coming back to your add tool, and replace it. And there you go. You can see how now it's a little bit more flush with that edge right here. And you can do this now or you can do this later, whichever you prefer. I think I did it later and I just sort of, I did one corner like this, one quadrant here, one fourth of the circle, smoothed it all out and then copy and pasted it all the way around the edge. Now that you've got this one quarter done, you can copy and paste. I'm going to come in with my selection tool. This looks pretty good to me, so we're going to go ahead and copy and paste real quick. I'm just going to hit Control C, Control V, and then I'm going to hit Shift Tab because I want to rotate it. There we go. I'm going to zoom in here a little bit. Hit shift tab again, bring back the translate tool. And now we're just going to try to line this up as best we can. And then I'll click once once I'm happy with that. And check that out to make sure it looks fairly symmetrical. Yeah, it looks pretty good. And now that I've got this side done, I can select this entire half and copy and paste it, or we can just hit V again and do another quadrant. And there we go. We've got the full thatched roof. It's not smooth yet, but we'll do that next. Okay, now that we've got the conal roof all set up, don't be afraid to come back with your line tool. 
And if you're seeing gaps or anything like that, don't be afraid to go over it again. And try to fill in some of those holes. Let's make sure we got the right material selected again. Come back with our line tool, click and drag. And there we go, we're just going to fill in the gaps a little bit here. All right, now that you've cleaned up the edges and you filled in all the holes and the gaps, just come back to your selection tool. And we're going to select the entire roof. And we're going to smooth it now, so don't forget to add that one voxel of space here, just outside. You don't want to be snug up against the edge because it'll, it'll make that sharp edge and we don't want that. And we'll make sure our voxel high. We'll go right to the bottom of this roof. And then we'll drag it out again. That looks pretty good. And then we'll just grab this side. All right, looks like we're in business. Let's go to our smooth tool. And anywhere from three to five times, you might have to smooth it some more depending on how you'd like it. And there we go, we've got a nice smoothed out conal rooftop. And you can see how I missed a couple gaps here. This is the parts, these are the parts that you want to sort of fill in as you're refining this. So you get something like this on this side. This side looks really good. We don't have any holes or anything like that. And there you go, that's basically it. It does take some trial and error. I recommend the circle size that I made in this video, but you don't have to. You can go any size you'd like. I do, however, recommend making your roof Definitely wider than whatever circular tower you've got going on, or whatever roof you have. It'll allow for a nice overhang. And that'll do it, folks. One conal-shaped rooftop. I got this tutorial off the forums once again from the user Vacuum. Great bunch of tutorials he's got on there. I'll leave the link in the video description below. And as always, if you enjoy the content, feel free to subscribe. And if you have any questions, feel free to leave a comment below. I'll be happy to get back to you and answer any questions I can. All right, until next time, folks, we'll see you later.